Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a short video on how to get your amateur radio license. Uh, kind of inspired by uh, the nice shout out Gorilla Geek did for me yesterday on his channel and how he discussed people pursuing their amateur radio licenses. So I thought I'd do a short video that kind of summarizes the path that I took and may be helpful for other people who are also thinking about pursuing their amateur radio license. The first step I have to say is uh, is find out where your test is given. You get an idea how far you have to drive, how often the test is given, and how much time you're going to need to to get ready. So the best website for that is www.arrl.org or the American Radio Relay League, and I'll put a link down below on the ARRL website. You'll see a tab. It's has licensing and exams and you can click on find an exam session and when you click on that link you'll get a screen that allows you to put in your zip code or your city and it'll kind of give you an idea it'll come back with a list of all the upcoming exams in your area and even if you're not ready to test even if you're just thinking about it I would like to encourage everybody to go ahead and plug your zip code in and get an idea of how many exams and how often they're given in your area another good useful piece of information when you get the response back is who's giving the exams in your area and it'll probably give you a nice list a good representation of all the amateur radio clubs in your area so I slapped in one of my old zip codes and it kicked back uh, two pages of exams over the next 30 days or 60 days I'm sorry uh, and they're pretty uh, repetitive once a week somebody's given an exam in and around where I used to live and the little blue tick marks here also show the different amateur radio clubs that are in the area. So this is a great resource uh, if you need technical assistance or you're looking for advice or even help studying for your exam. Any one of these radio clubs is more than happy to help you out if this is something you, you really want to do. And again, I encourage everybody to have an amateur radio license. The next recommendation I have is get to know the questions and the get to know the test you're about to take and take the fear out of it. The FCC amateur radio exam questions are actually published. There's no secret questions. So on the internet you can actually find the actual questions with the actual answer options. There's three classes of license. Technician class, general class, and extra class. For the technician class there's 396 questions in the pool. On test day they're going to give you 35 of those. For the general class license, there's 456 questions in the pool. But again, on test day, you're only going to get 35 of them. For extra class, the license I just took last week, there's 702 questions in the pool. On test day, you're going to get 50. So, don't be frightened if you look at some of these study manuals that are five, six hundred pages thick. You're not going to get all those questions. And they're multiple choice questions. Two of the questions are going to be obviously wrong, so you're really only deciding between two as you become more familiar with the exam. The best way I found for studying for this exam is to do it online, <clears throat> and a great website is qrz.com. You visit this website, you can create an account, and that gives you access to their practice exam section. And they have all three of the question pools for technician, general, and extra class on their website and it's linked to your account so it's tracking your progress as you're studying and it doesn't cost anything so you just log into your account pick a session and they're gonna throw you a sample test of 35 questions at you and they'll track how you're doing and they'll keep a history of every exam you've taken and actually give you areas to, to retest on if you want to go back and study a specific area and here's how they present their questions on QRZ.com. They'll tell you what pool it's from, the actual question number, how many questions are in the exam, which of course is 35. This is a, a general class example. They'll actually give you the, the question and the actual four options you'll see in the exam. And if you click on it and you get it correct, it'll highlight in green, it'll say correct, it'll roll to the next question. And then down below in the lower left hand corner you'll see here it'll keep track of how many questions you've gotten right total in the pool but if you take this test once a day for a week or a week and a half you're going to be ready for the technician class license to go in and take your exam and get your license for reference material I recommend that 
all preppers and amateur radio operators have these three ARRL manuals. The uh, Amateur Radio Handbook, which is a great technical reference and gives you some operating guidelines. The operate, Operating Manual, which is kind of the how-tos to conduct yourself while you're on the air. And it goes into some of the digital stuff as well. And if you're into making your own stuff or portable antennas, the Antenna Handbook is a great manual. If you want to learn how to make your own antennas or even repair your own antennas or order parts and pieces and things you need to build a radio station. So those are three manuals I think everybody should have in their prepping library. Because if we ever have a grid down situation, you're not going to be able to look up this information on the internet. So to recap, from the comms prepper's perspective, my recommendations if you're thinking about getting an amateur radio license is first find out your testing location. So visit ARRL.org, put in your zip code, see what's out there. Visit and create an account with QRZ.com. Again, it's free. doesn't cost any money. They're not going to ask you for a credit card. Then when you get in there, go to their reference section, their practice exam. And if you want a technician class license, click on that test. And once a day for a week, take that exam. Maybe 30 minutes of your day. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised after a week of doing this, your scores are going to start jumping way up. And pretty soon you're going to hit that 85% mark. And then I say, go back to step one because you know that, that testing location and go take your test and get your license. So good luck and uh, thank you for listening and thank you for watching my, uh, my videos. And have a good day. This is the comms prepper. Out.